I'm ranking every buildable from Black Ops 2 Transit all the way to Black Ops 4 Tiger Totem. Now, I wanted to stay true to what a buildable actually is, so I'm not including any wonder weapons on this list. And the criteria that is set for this video is it must have collectible parts around the map to gather. It must be a physical thing you can use whenever you choose to. And as I said, it can't be a wonder weapon. And this video is split into two different halves. The first half will be everything that is not a shield, and the second half will be all the shields. So with that, let's move on to the ranking. The worst possible buildable you can use in zombies has to be the electric trap on transit. You need the turbine for this to even work, and I'm very certain that I can only kill one zombie at a time, and you have to lead them into this very small area. I died trying to use it, so I couldn't even really show what it was capable of, but I already knew this thing was going to be the worst fucking buildable you could ever use. Right after that is going to be the turret on transit. This thing is an LMG on a lawnmower. It is so funny as a concept, but in use, it's god awful. The only reason it's above the electric trap is because it can kill in a bigger radius than the electric trap. It can actually turn I don't know if I can do a 360 degree turn or not, but it feels like it's a lot more reliable to work with. But it's still dog shit because why would you ever go to farm other than getting double tap? Now we have the dynamite bomb. Honestly, the reason why it's down here is because you can only open like three areas and tag your totem with it. And after that, it's kind of useless. It's very convenient to get, but after you open everything up, there's no point to even having it. Now we have buildables that can actually kill things. And this is going to be the head chopper. I find it really weird to rank this because you kind of need to have more than two players for this to be good. If it's just you by yourself, it won't kill many zombies. If you get four people with four head choppers, you can kill a lot of zombies very fast. You could notice in the gameplay, it's only killing like one zombie at a time. It's not very great. It can also kill you pretty sure instantly if you go near it. You can crouch under it, which is good, but it's not practical. I mean, it's useless in terms of buried. You never use it. After that, we have the Maxis drone. Just like the dynamite bomb, when you use it for what it's used for, it becomes completely useless. I'm certain it can revive you if you go down on solo or if your teammates go down or whatever, but it's still terrible. It can't kill zombies in the later rounds. You can get a free LMG with it, and you kind of need it to complete the Easter egg. But other than that, it's not really useful. Now we have the Trample Steam. This is a very, very useful buildable. Only in the early game, though. On Die Rise, it's a lot better than on Buried, but you mainly use it to get around the map easier. It can kill zombies infinitely. That's how people get to high rounds on Die Rise. And it's overall just a very solid buildable to have. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. It's there when you need it, man. It's, it's very convenient. Now we have the sub surface resonator. The only reason why high rounds on buried even exist is because of this. I think some people call it a dubstep machine because it uses sound to kill the zombies. It's a very unique idea. It can get very annoying listening to it and you can need a lot of skill to actually use this because buried high rounds are not easy because this does not last that long but it is very very useful if you're going to go for high rounds on buried. It's really the only thing you can use. Now we have the gas mask on Zetsubo no Shima. This could definitely be a hot take but when you're playing Zetsubo it's almost required to use this. The amount of spores around the map that make your character cough is unreal. If you're gonna go for high rounds, you'll want the gas mask. If you're gonna do the Easter egg, you probably want the gas mask. You're gonna play Zetsubo no Shima, you probably want the gas mask. Now the best buildable, I would have to say that it's not a shield, has to be the turbine. There is so many upsides to having this. You can run faster while you're having it out. You can knife faster while you're having it out. So on transit, it's very useful. On buried, it's a lot better though. You have to use this to power the subsurface resonator on buried in order to get it to work. It also powers other buildables in transit and all that. And it's a way of accessing perks before the power is turned on. It's convenient to use, but if you're going for buried high rounds, that's really the only case where it's going to be used further than the beginning of the game. So now we're moving on to the shields, and believe it or not, all of these actually are very different in terms of how useful they are, even if they all do the same thing every map. And the worst shield on this list has to be the transit shield. This thing is a piece of shit. There's no reason you'd ever use it over the turbine because you can only have one buildable at a time. And it's literally a car door strapped to a dolly with tape. Let that sink in, man. There's no reason to get this shield. Now we have the Zetsubo no Shima shield. You know, it, I kind of don't like putting it this low, but it doesn't really have anything going on with it. The only reason you would ever need this is to complete the Easter egg. And if you didn't need it for the Easter egg, there'd almost be no reason because you can camp for high rounds on this map. And a lot of the time, the zombies won't even be behind you when you're camping for high rounds. So there's almost no reason to ever pick up the shield unless you're doing the Easter egg. Now after that, we have the rocket shield. The one on shadows is a lot better than Dryas and Drac because you're going to 
be training to get the high rounds on shadows and with the rise drag you might do the same with training but i find it to be just a lot more useful on shadows of evil and with the ability that it has it has like a rocket boost where you can just launch towards the zombies but after about round 20 it stops killing so it's not useful at all but it's still a shield why not just get it, you know? Now we have the Origin Shield. This one is so damn useful if you're a new player, even if you're someone that has played this map over and over, unless you're a speedrunner and have the world record, the shield means nothing to you. But for the early rounds on Origins, where you don't even have Jug yet, or maybe you're just barely getting Jug, it's so useful to get this thing, because Origins is not an easy map to set up on on the early rounds. You're gonna be struggling. So getting this is almost a necessity if you don't wanna die early on. Now we have the Brazen Bull Shield from 9 on Black Ops 4. The only map to ever have this and i'm kind of sad that it's not on other maps because that kind of ruins the placement of it the spot you can build it on nine i think is only one location and it's in a terrible spot and the only time i ever find myself utilizing the shield's abilities is when i'm completely out of ammo and i have to kill the gladiators on either the round where they all spawn or at the very end of the round where i run out of ammo but it's still a very cool shield in my opinion now we have the ballistic shield i say that's above the brazen bull one because it's more maps you have more options Options. I don't necessarily know how useful it would be on each map, but thinking of the spots you can build it on the maps, I would say that it's very convenient actually. But I would say that the handgun you can shoot out of it isn't very good in any sense of the word at all, but it's still a shield. And at the end of the day, why not just get it? Now we got the spectral shield on Blood of the Dead. I find this to be very unique because you use a key to suck the soul out of the zombies to be able to charge it to be able to power things around the map. You need this in order to access Pack a Punch. I don't I don't know about the easter egg but this shield is so damn useful if you don't build it you're not going to progress far in the map so it is needed now we have arguably the coolest and most badass shield ever made the apollo's will shield from ancient evil it's only on this map but it is the coolest shield i've ever seen there's a reason why it's the thumbnail shield now it throws the spears that are explosive and you need it to even get the gauntlets of the map, which are the wonder weapons, to get their final upgrade. And that's kind of all I know about it. I don't know if it's used further than that for the Easter egg or anything, but it's very, very unique. You can place it in a pretty decent spot. It's right next to the high round strategy. And over time, your ammo gets replenished for it. So, you know, it's just very, very good overall. Now the Mob of the Dead Shield. This one doesn't have any special abilities or anything, but it's so damn useful. If you're going for high rounds on Mob, you need this shield. If you're in the beginning of the game, you need this shield. It is so useful. You can place it right next to you for the high round strategy. It's so easy to build and it's very unique. You you take a dolly, yes, kind of stupid, and but you also take like the iron bars of a cell from a prison and like strap it on to that dolly. It looks cool. It actually fits the aesthetic of the map like it should. And it's so damn convenient. If you don't have this, you're almost going to die on the map every time. Now we have the best shield ever created in zombies history. The dragon shield from Gorod Karobi. This is arguably one of the strongest things you could ever use in zombies. Not even just talking buildables or anything, it is absurdly strong. And the reason for that is it has three different charge attacks that are infinite damage and can kill an entire horde of zombies because it's like a huge dragon ball that just shoots out and blows up every single zombie near you. It kills all the mini bosses that roam around the map instantly. It's crazy how good the dragon shield is. And if you're on guard Karobi, you can upgrade it as well, which is even more insane. But that concludes us for this list. If you think that I missed any, I know that I didn't because I did research on this video and included everything that I believe was a true buildable in my eyes. But if you're still angry that I didn't include something, I don't care. My video. But with that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I love every single one of you.